want us to remove for various reasons. We may not have the budget to do everything. There are a couple entry blocks that have salt marsh growing in it. So.
Alright, it's my narrowly priorities, right? We want to be forthright with the left. We want to be forthright with the left. This is the last community you want to make a promise to the So I am just trying to make a promise uh, get my hands around, and I, so you don't know tonight, I'm not going to press you. I would like you to, to let me know when that number is available to you, when you are able to estimate it. I assume these are capital dollars that you're talking about? Yes. So, okay. I think the issue is less that it's an enormous ticket item and more the problem that the sand and the shoreline stuff is a huge ticket item, and we just don't know. We've, we've estimated, we don't know exactly where the cost is going to come in. Joel? Um, are you really feeding your whole purpose of cleaning up the island if you just need the big boats and engines there with gas leaking out of them? You know, it's, I, I think you're doing it backwards of cleaning, worrying about cleaning up a few glasses in there. And this poison is going to pour into the river and come all the way down this way. I, I think we should be addressing that factor, get the figures back, and maybe our city councilman who is capital budget, get the money, clean that up first, and don't worry about the secondary problem. I have to remember what the impetus for this project is and the reason we have a budget that we do have stems from a an obligation we have, a state mandated obligation to create uh, bird habitat on the top of the island. It was, uh, it was an obligation that the city took on stemming from the Gateway Estates project and we wouldn't have this money at all if we weren't, if we, if we weren't for that obligation and that has to be the first priority of the work that we do. Anyone else? Mike? I have one other question. With the perimeter of the blocks and everything, what are you going to be on? About 20 or 30 degree clean for the top of the island? The armor stones are anywhere from one and a half to one to two to one. Then the concrete blocks are three to one. And then the webbing is more of a four to one slope. So the concrete blocks, two to one, three to one. The top of the island down to the beach, are you talking 40 feet? The top, of the, island is, the top of the island, will be, the highest point will be 35. The banks, yes. we begin work on top of the banks is around an elevation of seven. So this is a very gradual slope across no, I'm the... I'm talking just about the baseline around the island. As you come down off the top, of, unless you're going to flatten out the top of the island, I don't know. We're bringing in fill, but we're maintaining a very gradual grade, so it's very steep. You're going to keep a gradual grade. Very gradual grade. We're not creating any steep slopes. I think that we're using 10 to 1 as some of our steepest slopes on the island, on the surface of the island. So the shoreline, that's why we're improving the shoreline so much. Not for you this time, Janice. Uh, back to, I'm oh, sorry. Joshua. Joshua. Um, so when this project, during during this project, and when this project is all said and done, I just want, you know, again, for clarification, I've asked you this 100 times, uh, there is no, no intent there is nothing in the plans for the restriction of boating, fishing, water skiing, um, uh, access to the quote, shoreline of the island, uh, un understood above the 10 foot, you know, mark is a, is a different story. That's that. That's what we want to preserve up there as natural wildlife. But it, but again, uh, no intent by parks to attempt to restrict. Uh, any use of the existing waterways as it, as it has been for years. Correct. I mean, we don't frankly we don't have jurisdiction over the use of the waterways, and we have not spoken to any. We have no intent to go to any of the agencies that might have jurisdiction over regulating those activities. We we control. We obviously own the island, and we control a lot of the shoreline on the opposite banks and on the on the marine park side. And, right. Um, and you know, so so yeah. so again, the jurisdiction, just for clarification, is above the mean high tide line. Correct. Thank you, Mike and Frank. Just Mike, a simple question: Is water skiing, jet skiing, boating illegal in Mill Creek or Garrison Creek? I'm not sure I can even answer that question about the legality of it. It's not our, it's not our, or it's not our authority. It's not our. We're not a regulatory agency. 